Hello and welcome everybody. In this tutorial, we'll see what is the ISIP call flow. So what actually is the ISIP? ISIP or the ISDN user path define the protocols and procedures used to set up, manage and release trunk circuits that carry voice and data calls over the PSDN. ISIP is used for both ISDN and non-ISDN calls. What are the basic ISIP messages used for call control? The first is the initial address message or the IAM sent in the forward direction to initiate seizure of an outgoing circuit. The IAM contains the information needed to set up a call. For a basic call, it is the first message sent. The ACM or the address complete message is sent in the backward direction indicating that all the address signals required for routing the call to the call party have been received. The ANM or the answer message sent in the backward direction indicating that call has been answered. The REL of the release message is sent in the either direction to indicate that circuit is being released due to indicated cause. The RLC or the release complete message is sent to acknowledge an REL message upon a receipt of an R RLC a circuit can be returned to an idle state. So let's see what is an ISIP call flow. The calling party goes off hook on an originating switch and dials the number of the call party. A dial tone is set to subscriber A and the dial digits are collected by the SSP1. The originating SSP transmits the ISAP IAM to reserve an idle trunk circuit. The IAM includes originating point code, destination point code, circuit identification code, dial digits, the calling party number and the forward call indicators. The IEM is routed via STP to the SSP2. The destination SSP checks the dial number against his routing table and confirms that the call party line is available for ringing. The destination SSP transmits the ACM to the originating SSP via the STP to confirm that the remote end of the trunk circuit has been reserved. The SSP routes the ACM to the originating SSP which connects the calling party line to the trunk to complete the voice circuit. The calling party hears a ring back tone. The call party goes off hook. Destination switch terminates ringing tone and transmits the ANM message or the ISAP answer message to the originating S SSP via the STP. The STP routes the ANM to the originating switch which verifies the calling party is connected to the reserve trunk. The call is connected now. The conversation goes on. If the calling party hangs up first, if the originating switch sends an ISAP release message to release the trunk circuit between the two switches. When the destination switch receives the REL, it disconnects the idle trunk circuits and transmits an ISAP RLC or the release complete message to the originating switch to acknowledge the release of the remote end of the circuit. In this way, the basic call flow of the ISIP goes. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing. For more videos, you can subscribe to www.youtube.com slash technology lab.